Today I want to show you the difference between determinant and indeterminate tomatoes and show you an example of two full-grown plants. This is an example of a fully grown dwarf cherry tomato plant. With a determinant tomato plant, they grow to its name, a predetermined size. Then they flower, then produce tomatoes, and then ripen, all around the same time. Then the plant's done. It stops growing, stops producing, whereas the indeterminate tomato will keep growing and keep producing until it's killed off. Now let's pan over to the indeterminate tomato plant and we can see there's lots of flowers on this one, lots of branches going in all directions, lots of new growth. Specifically, in the armpit of each branch, usually there is what's called a sucker and that sucker will turn into a new vine and grow off in a different direction. Here is one that I did not prune. and It reached out, went out of the cage, and is growing out into my lawn. So that is what happens if you don't prune these. It will just bush out and go all over the place. The indeterminate tomatoes are okay to prune because you want to keep them usually to a cage or a support system because they'll just keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. The only pruning that you might want to do on one of these determinate tomatoes is any dead or yellowing branches. So now you could find a branch like this that has a dead leaf on it and just prune that out. Maybe prune some of these leaves that are close or touching the ground but keep your pruning to a minimum on the determinant tomatoes. Determinant tomatoes here are great for small spaces or containers, and if you want to get all your tomatoes all at the same time, usually in a two to three week period. Now the indeterminate tomatoes are great if you want lots of tomatoes over the course of two to three months or until a frost kills the plant. They do require some pruning if you want to keep them contained and they're going to require some kind of support, whether it be a trellis, staking, or a tomato cage.